All right, so I thought what I'd do real quick, I get a lot of questions about kit. What do I carry when I'm out in the woods hunting, things like that? And I don't always carry the same thing. I test a lot of different gear, but I tend to carry some items that are the same most of the time. And this is my scouting haversack that I carry the majority of the time when Rufus and I are out in the woods hunting, trekking around. And all of these items fit inside the haversack other than the single shot 12 gauge and the axe and buck saw combo. So I'll go through this with you guys real quick just to show you what's happening here. At the bottom, I've just got a leather pouch. It's probably got, I don't know, 15 or 18 different 12 gauge shells. There's everything in here from buck to du or double lot buck to slugs to number eights to number sixes. And I just carry them in a leather pouch in here stuffed into my bag so that if I'm out hunting and I've got game I want to shoot, depending on what I'm out hunting, I've always got one or two rounds to get something secured if I want to. So that goes in my bag. I've got a small tin, just a Kodak, old Eastman Kodak film tin. Here is full of coffee so that I can have coffee when I'm in the woods if I stop for a break like I am right now with the dog. Um, I just carry a small Swedish style hip flask with a cup with a leather wrap on it so I can put it on my belt if I want to. And this is just a haversack carry. If I were going to carry my full on water bottle, you know, I'd carry that or my canteen, but on a short scout, a short quick hunt away from camp, something like that, or when I'm just out walking the woods for a little while and I'm only a half a mile from the house, this is an easy carry. Okay, so I've got a spoon, obviously a wooden spoon. I've got the new Revenant fork and I've been testing it out. It's why it's in my bag. It is a fire striker for flint and steel or a fire striker for ferrocerium rod. It'll work for either, plus it's a meat type fork or eating fork if you need it. And then I've got a ferrocerium rod. I've got a lighter in my pocket all the time. I've got a tin of matches here. If for nothing else, tradition's sake, not because I love matches, because I don't. I have a tin here of char, and this tin is kind of cool. This is like a chocolate tin, but it has a hole in the top of it, and it has a space here where I can actually put my magnifying glass inside there and then put the lid on top and then secure that with duct tape or electrical tape to keep it waterproofed. And I've got a tin for charring, a magnifying glass for lighting that char in a single container. So it just makes a real nice little light fire kit. You could also stick a lighter inside that char tin if you wanted to. You could stick some matches in there. You could stick a small ferro rod in there, whatever you wanted to do. But I keep it separate from everything else because that's really just my charring tin and a place to keep my magnifying glass that's convenient. Then I have a piece of flint in there. I have a ring that I just carry with me just to make a quick and dirty tripod with. I can stick three poles up inside this ring, spread them out, and I have an instant tripod if I want to cook something over the fire. Maybe Rufus and I get some fresh game, we want to put it over the fire real quick. I can hang it off a string or whatever the case may be with cordage. And this makes a quick and dirty tripod. I generally keep one of these in about all of my bags just for that reason. All right, so then I've got my single shot 12 gauge, and this is just an old Ithaca that breaks open with a lever action. Single shot 12 gauge, full choke, full length barrel. I like it real well. It's a good woods running gun for me. Then I just carry this Camp Craft Outfitters bag that holds a takedown buck saw, like my Boreal 21 or a Bob Dustery, whatever you want to put in there, and my axe. And it's got a shoulder sling to put it over your shoulder with your haversack. And you've always got an axe and a saw when you need it. So that's a pretty simple kit. And this is a, I'm not planning on spending the night out here, or otherwise I'd have a bedroll on the other shoulder, but this is just a quick scout down and dirty kit. I can start fire, I can drink some coffee, I can cut wood if I need to, and I can hunt. Pretty simple stuff. But I wanted to go over it with you guys real quick today because I get a lot of questions about that stuff, so I thought I'd throw that up for you today and get you going on that. Well, folks, I appreciate you joining me today for just a quick stop during a hunt with the dog out here trying to jump a couple of rabbits to the end of the season. I thought I'd throw a little bit of information out there while I was out. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our business, for our family, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys. All right, dog, let's go.